You can bet your bottom dollar. Great programming coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Stand by. Hold on. Talk at its finest, coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. In about two minutes, stand by. guys are talking about stand by a great show coming up next on the Stewart media and entertainment network in about 30 seconds stand by don't go away stop 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 If they're talking about it at the barbershop, we're talking about it here on SME. Great show coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stand by. It's time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another great product on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yeah! Listening to the Doug Stewart Show may cause sore throat from arguing about sports so much, increased knowledge of sports and sports issues, short tolerance for BS sports shows, you will start referring to yourself as a Stewie, consistent visits to the Doug Stewart Show chat room to talk ish, a sudden craving for boiled peanuts, fellas, better luck with the ladies, ladies, better luck with the fellas, a deeper appreciation for 80s and 90s hip hop music, and an uncontrollable urge to donate money to the Doug Stewart Show. We thank you for listening. Enjoy. Yes, sir. I'm going to give it to you raw, no Vaseline. What? It was at this moment that he knew. He f***. Ah, that's all right. Let's Not go. Not literally, because I don't get down like Let's that. Go. You know what I mean. The realest, the trillest. Let's go. Sports talk show in America. The Doug Stewart Show. Let's go, show, Stewie. Show, show. Let's go. Yeah. What's happening? Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show. This is a Man Talk Monday. And oh, boy, we got a lot of great things planned for you today. As we do every single day. Shout out and good morning to all of the Stewies. Yeah! Woo! Let's go. Let's get it cracking. Oh, we got a lot to get to. A lot to get to. Pop, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Hey, uh, welcome to the Doug Stewart Show, man. The realest, trealest sports and guy talk show in America. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I get hyped, man. I get hyped when the show starts, man. Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show. What's today's date? November 7th, 2016. And it is a Man Talk Monday. Y'all know what it is. Thank you, studio audience, y'all. Sounding good this morning. Yeah, so it's a Man Talk Monday. What we do on Mondays around here is we recap everything that happened over the past weekend in the world of sports, entertainment, and beyond. 
And so we will do that today. As a matter of fact, if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, there's a couple of things I need you to do. I need you to go to Spreaker.com if you're not already listening to the show there. Go to Spreaker.com, search and find the Doug Stewart Show. Once you find it, hit the follow button. That's very important that you hit that follow button so that when this show or any other show on the network goes live, you'll get an alert. And the second thing I need you to do is to click on the little chat bubble icon thingy. All right? We have the best chat room in the world. I call it the Fantasy Island of Sports and Guy Chat. And its inhabitants, the people inside that chat room, I call them the Stewies. Good morning, Stewies. Yeah. Yes, sir. And so post your thoughts in the chat room. I read it throughout the show. It makes this the most interactive guy talk show in the world. Uh, Y'all know what it is. We talk sports around here, uh, but not like anybody else. We do entertainment conversation and commentary. Uh, We have a birthday segment, entertainment talk there as well. Um, Top fives, Dougie Dailies. We do a lot of little things around here, man, to lighten up the mood and keep things going, um, you know, and real, real fun. All right. So you can also call the show 404. 382-0338. 382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. You see the title of today's show? Rabbits Find Guns. Man, some rabbits have found the guns. If you're not from the country, there's a saying, ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. So we're talking about teams like the Dallas Cowboys, the Oakland Raiders, and the Los Angeles Lakers! They got the gun! <laughs> The Lakers got the gun. Damn it. All right. Now, we're going to get into it a little bit more later. But they had the great win against the Atlanta Hawks. If you're new to the Ducks, to a show, I'm a Lakers fan. They got the great win against the Hawks here in ATL. And then this past weekend, they beat the Golden State Warriors. The Lakers got the gun. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. We're going to talk more about it, though. We're going to talk more about it, man. The Eagles falling apart. The Vikings falling apart as well. The Green Bay Packers, what's going on with them? Uh, College football talk, AP Top 25. We'll look at the top four. Nebraska back to life, back to reality possible. Uh, Lamar Jackson's in the news, man. He just dominates this weekend. So what we do is we talk about everything from this past weekend in the NFL, college football. We get your balls and your busters. We got to give out a back to life, back to reality award today. Yeah. The back to life, back to reality award goes to a team that was classy, but now they ashy. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yeah. So there's a lot of teams that fall in that category, man, uh, that were uh, classy, and now they're looking a little ashy right now, so we'll do that today as well. Uh, Before I forget, man, shouts out to everybody that wished your boy a happy birthday on yesterday on social media. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Turned 47 years old yesterday, man. And, uh, man, a lot of shots out, man. A lot of happy birthdays. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it, man. Um, mm, I, I, I've been very careful to get into it, man. But a couple of months back, man, it was kind of like touching and go for your boy. Hey, you know, I'm from the country, and I believe in jinxes and all of that stuff, man. I shouldn't. Uh, so I've been very, uh, you know, cautious and talking about it, man. But like six months ago, and I'm going to share this with y'all. Y'all listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Um, so probably like six, seven months ago, uh, your boy had a physical. I went into the doctor's office, had the physical, and the doctor was like, you know, your, high, your blood pressure is a little bit high. All right, so if you don't know how blood pressures work, blood pressures – you know, maximum is like 120 over 80. They give you two different readings. 120 over 80 is like average. It's like good. All right. And so he's like, yeah, your blood pressure is a little bit high. Um, it was like in the 130s or something like that. Then a couple of months later, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart show. Then a couple of months later, your boy was riding down the street and all of a sudden 
I realized that everything was getting blurry. It's not a good sign. So everything was getting blurry, so I stopped the Publix, and I did one of those blood pressure readings or whatever, Publix, the uh, grocery store, and I did one of those little blood pressure readings, man, and my blood pressure was 198 over 110. Yeah, you heard me right. Your boy's blood pressure was 198 over 110. Now, let me just, if you don't know, if you have never really done this uh, and you're not really familiar with how this thing works, the highest reading that they have on the blood pressure machines at Publix, uh, at, the, at the grocery store at Publix, and, and I guess anywhere, um, but the highest reading that they have is 160. Mine was 198. <laughs> So, immediately I called the doctor and I told him, like, man, um, my blood pressure is saying this. This is what the, 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 the meter is saying. And he immediately called the pharmacy and put me on blood pressure medicine immediately. At that second, he told me to go home and lay down, cut the lights off or whatever. Um, so, I started taking blood pressure medicine. This is about four or five months ago now. And then talking with people that are familiar with, uh, you know, blood pressure readings or whatever. Uh, my cousin's a doctor and... To a man, everybody was like, you're very, very lucky that you didn't have a stroke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're very, very lucky that you didn't have a stroke. Now, I say it all the time. You listen to the Doug Stewart Show, and I'm kind of giving you a testimony here. I say it all the time. If I take my shirt off, I look like groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons. I do. Shut up. I do, I do, and it really just hit me that man, this is this is what happens. Like, uh, you know, if I would have stroked out or you know something worse, man, people would have been like, man, what happened to him? He looked like he was in good shape, this that, and the other, man. But I'm telling you, it's your diet. And I was very, my head was very hard about this, man. That fast food and a lot of the things that we eat, man, we just can't do it. Especially as black men, you just can't do it. You have to get your blood pressure checked out regularly. Um, you have to monitor it, you know, and, and the doctor was like, man, I'm not saying that, you know, it's even anything that you're doing. It's probably hereditary. And I find out this information and I start talking about it with my family and my mother and, uh, a lot of my first cousins at my age, I found out that all these people are on blood pressure medicine. and nobody told me that this was an issue. Yeah, man. So you have to, uh. You have to pay attention to this stuff. You have to monitor this stuff, man. Please get your blood pressure checked uh, periodically. I would say twice a week. Like you need to pop in the grocery store or you need to get you one of the little measuring tools or whatever, man, and and, uh, and measure your blood pressure, man, because hypertension. You remember that episode of Good Times when James had hypertension and he was screaming? So I don't know whether it's, whether it's uh, uh, you know, family history. Uh, I don't know whether it's stress, and I say I don't have stress, but, I mean, obviously we all have some stress in our life. So I, I don't know what it is, man, but, yeah, your boy, man, was teetering on some bad things. And I always talked about that, getting my blood pressure high on this show when I start screaming or whatever, man. So um, I cut back on that a lot. If you listen to the show, you know that. Uh, bottom line is, man, I thank God that I'm here today. I'm 47 years old. and. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it, it's come down a lot. I'm actually, the last time I checked it, it's come all the way down to like 127, I believe it was, 127 over like 90. So it's still not there, but it's damn near there where it needs to be. Um, man, man, really.